All right, hello everyone. This is Brandon Schaefer. Okay, so today I'm using Notepad++, which is a free program you can download. Uh, it's for using CSS, HTML, any kind of coding. Uh, so what I have here is HTML. And I'm going to talk to you today about responsive design. And as you can see here, I have an image. And this is a way of dealing with images uh, responsibly. So as I shrink this, it's labeled medium to show you that this is the medium size image. And as I shrink it, it turns into a small image, um, see, without the label there. So it's a completely different image. So the reason for doing this, uh, say someone's on a mobile screen, so the screen is, you know, this small, it will only load the smallest image. It will not load this medium image. And if I'm on a large screen, it'll load the smallest image, and then it will replace it with whatever size. Depending on the size of my screen, uh, it will load a certain image, um, you know, to uh, for that screen size. So, how do we do this? Okay, well, what I'm using is if you go to foundation, uh, foundation.zurb.com. It's a nice little framework, uh, grid framework, and etc. Um, you can use whatever features you want from it. But I'm going to show you here uh, how, to, how, to, how do I do this interchange thing. So you go to JavaScript interchange. And here they have an example. See, so I'm on a medium sized screen uh, according to their calculations. And then see right here it switches to the smaller image. Um, so it's an image replacement thing. And the way to do it, well, actually, before I show you how to do it, they have these defaults, um, you know, for whatever the media queries for the certain screen sizes. So you use these names, the default, small, medium, large, landscape, etc., retina. You use these in your HTML. So here's the image. And there's the image source. So that's the main image that's going to be loaded. Um, and actually this one, this is the one that's oh, that's going to be loaded, the default. See there's the default name, which corresponds with this screen size. A minimum width of 1 pixels. So in between 1 pixels and 768, um, you know, it'll load this main smallest image. And then if my screen is, is a medium screen, it will load the medium image. So then you have the medium uh, you know, image source, and then you can also you can put as many as you want in. You can have uh, default, smallest, smaller, large. You know, I just went from media, medium to retina. Um, so you can do, you know, it's really uh, a cool thing, and it's very versatile. And you can make your own image uh, media queries. You know, custom name queries. I show you how to do that with all the JavaScript, uh, etc and you can download the files here but what you do uh, so you just link the interchange and the foundation and jQuery um, and it'll make this work so here's the image again and then you just do data interchange equals and then you put in this coding um, for the different uh, image sources so this is a nice way of dealing with kind of a mobile first approach for dealing with images and to keep loading times down. Uh, it's a really helpful thing. Pretty cool cool way of dealing with it. Uh, you can see right here at the 1280 when my screen gets smaller than 1280 it changes to the smaller image. Um, you know those are two different images. So it will only load the, limit, the image that is necessary. Uh, so that's just a way of dealing with responsive images. So check it out. Uh, check out the Foundation 4 framework. Play around with it. There's a lot of cool features. Um, this came out back in February, so it's kind of a newer thing. Uh, so check it out. There's a lot of cool features. It's uh, foundation.zurb.com. So hopefully this was helpful, and uh, thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions, just post them down below. And uh, stay tuned for some more videos. So, thank you. Peace.